Okay, in this video, I'm going to go through how to create a house style uh, in Word, in Word, basically. So for your document formatting section of your question paper. So for on question four here, you have to create these four styles, title, subtitle, subheading and body text. You'll be referring to the house style specification, which is on page one. And so all of the information you need to create your styles is here. First thing you need to look at when you're creating your house style is when you go into Word, you'll notice in this section here, styles, you have quick styles. So if you just click on this icon here, you'll see all the various styles that are available. These are not all of the styles that are available. Some are hidden. And we'll talk about that in a minute because uh, we're going to have to use one of the styles that's hidden. So we're firstly, to, I'm just going to create these or edit existing styles in order. So we'll do title first. So as you can see, the title style is already here. So if you just right click on that and go to modify, you can then make changes to this style according to the question paper. So we need to make sure the font is a sans serif font. It's 24 points and it's center aligned. So if we have a look here, Calibri is a serif font. So we need to change that to a sans serif font. So sans serif obviously means that there shouldn't be any small lines at the edges of the text or serifs. So a uh, standard one that people normally use is Arial. I'm just going to use Trebuchet because it's just close to hand. And you'll be able to see from the preview that there are no serifs on this font here. It should be 24 points in center aligned. So again, I will change the size and I will change my alignment. It's already set to center aligned here. Okay, so that's my title style now updated. So I could just press OK. And then as you can see, it's now changed that style um, according to the question paper. The next one is subtitle. Again, as you can see from our quick styles, there is already a sub subtitle style here. I'm just going to right click and modify again. And then I'm just going to look at my question paper. So that again should be sans serif, 18 points, italic, underlined and white aligned. So sans serif, I'm just going to go ahead and choose the same sans serif font. And it's 18 italic underlined and white aligned. So 18 italic underlined and it should be right aligned like that. Okay, so that's that one done. So there's my subtitle style done as well. You'll notice that as you hover over your style, the text that's selected will change as you can see down here. So if I select a bit of text. Okay, so now we'll do our subheading style. So I need to have a look to see if there is an existing subheading style here. I can't see one in my quick styles. So what I'm going to do is click on this small icon here and this will bring up my styles window. If I click on this icon, manage styles, you'll notice that there's now a list here of all of the font styles that are available to me. So I'm just going to look to see if there's a subheading style. If you try and create a style that already exists, whether it's hidden or not, you'll get an error. So it is important that you check this before you start trying to create a particular style. So I can't see a subheading style here. There are in alphabetical order, so there is one. There is one. So I need to go ahead and create a new one. So I'm just going to press uh, cancel on that. And in the same window, if I click on this icon, new style, it opens up to let me create my own style. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So it should be called subheading. And I then just need to check all the formatting that needs to be done. Sans serif again, 12 points. And it should be single line spaced after each subheading. And I'll explain what that means in a sec. So sans serif Arial is a sans serif font. So you could keep it as that. I'm just going to keep everything uniform and use trebuchet. And 12. And it should be single line spacing. So what you need to do is go down here into format and select paragraph. And basically what that's asking for is after each subheading there to be a 
line that and it should be the same size as your font so we need to select where it says spacing here after and we need to change that to 12 so that will automatically then put in a 12 point high line after each paragraph and it should be single line spacing i'll just double check that again yeah single line spacing with a, a line okay so you must read this really carefully sometimes there's a lot of information in the sentence and you might miss stuff out so just again cross off everything as you go to ensure that you're not missing um any bits that you need to do so that's uh, my subheading done and if you make sure add to quick list style is ticked and then that will automatically be added to your quick style so then you don't have to search for that style it's, it's just been added up here for your convenience okay we now need to do the body text style so again we need to have a look in our quick styles list see if it's there it is not so I'm going to go ahead to manage styles and I'm going to look for it down here and see if it's here. Because it should be in order. Okay, so body text is here and it's actually hidden. Okay, so what we need to do if you go to recommend and look for it in this list so we can unhide it because we want to be able to use it as a quick style. Um, we don't want to have to waste time looking for it when we just want to use it quickly. So click here and click on show and then you'll see that the hit, it's not hit, it shouldn't be hidden anymore and then we can modify it. So I'll press OK and if I go to my list here it should be here but if not you should be able to find it down here so I'm just going to have a look to see if it's here. If not, just go back to your list where you had to uh, manage your styles and then go to edit and select it from the list. Because we might not have added it to the quick list yet. So I'm just going to go into body. So here it is. And I'm going to click on modify from here and it will open up for me. And then I'm just going to go ahead and edit that according to the question paper. So this one should be serif 10 point and 1.5 line spacing so serif it is set to times new roman which is a standard serif font you're looking for obviously the serifs to be at the ends and edges of each uh, character in that font so that is a serif font should be 10 points 1.5 line spacing line spacing you need to go to format here and paragraph and set line spacing which is here to 1.5 i'm just going to leave that open because we have to again make sure there's one line one clear line after each paragraph and we need to make sure it's fully justified as well so i'm gonna again after each uh piece of text that's set with that style I need to set that to 10 points so that it matches the font size and I can change the alignment here to justify it as well just to save a bit of time and then that's my body text style done as well if I just go back down to the part of the question where this is it then asks you to show evidence of the details of your body text style in your evidence document so I'll go ahead and do that so if you just I'm just going to click on add to quick list style to make sure that's in my quick list so I've got that to hand and then I'm going to press alt and print screen so I can just take a screenshot of this window and press ok so I can go to the other document to my evidence document and so that should be here I'm just going to paste that in. Okay, so that's exactly what you should have in your evidence. Nice and clear and big. If you look at my other pieces of evidence, I've cropped and resized um, those. You can use the slipping tool, um, which will make sure that you've got an adequately sized piece of evidence. Um, if you do have to print screen, so like the size A4, sometimes you have to print screen that just crop and resize it so that it's big enough for the examiner to see your evidence clearly 
and that's that.